Earlier tonight, I spoke with Nancy and asked her what she thought made the difference between Bayul's gold and her silver. <laughs> um, well, I didn't see the whole, the, her whole number, and I haven't seen mine yet. But I know how mine felt. It felt great. I was very solid. I didn't miss it. You know, everything was very clean. And the only thing I did see was a replay of my double flip, which didn't even look like a pop. It was just a nice big double flip. Um, although it was supposed to be triple, and they showed a replay I saw of her two-footed triple jumps, and, you know, what was the difference? I don't, I have no idea, because I thought, I think flawless always looks a little bit better, but, hey. In the overview, did the injury to your knee a month ago make a difference at all, do you think? <laughs> it sure made a difference in the last, uh, month and a half of how I've lived, yeah. I'm talking about in your physical performance last night, though. No, because I think um, I was just strong in my mind and I knew what I had to do, and if I had to do it a few weeks ago, I could have done it then, too, because mentally I was prepared. And I, I don't know. The only thing is that maybe because of it, I had to work harder than I even had before then. I thought I couldn't but I, I had to, and I'm in better shape than I ever have been. What was your goal here? People have different goals. Was your goal a gold medal, or was it to win no. any medal, or was it just to skate well? My, my goal is to skate well because once, you know, I do that, it's up to judges. It's totally out of my hands, so I can't expect a medal. I can't expect gold. Um, I think a lot of times people get a little too greedy and, you know, expect this stuff when to be at the Olympic Games means so much in itself. You know, it means you're the best in your country to even make the team here, and it says a lot about a person just to be here. What happens with Nancy Kerrigan now, vacation time? Yep, I'm going uh, tomorrow morning to Disney World, so I'm gonna relax for a little while. Would you consider skating in the 98 Olympics in Nagano? <laughs> no, <laughs> That's, no way. <laughs> It's too long. It's too much hard work. I've I've done it for so long, and I deserve a break from it. <laughs> Tanya Harding's future is far less certain than Nancy Kerrigan's, and last night Tanya's long, strange trip to the Winter Olympics ended in appropriately bizarre fashion. Mark Phillips has more on Tanya's night and the day after reaction. A day after her psychodrama on ice, Tanya Harding finally reemerged tonight. Her boot laces well tied. A condition which would have saved her a lot of grief last night, when a torn skate lace was the beginning of the latest tale of Tanya's troubles. Nearing panic as she tried to relace the skate as the clock ticked down toward possible disqualification. Starting her routine on a loose skate and then stopping it. Complaining to the judges that the replacement lace was too short, and then finally being allowed to fix the lace and skate her routine, but still finishing well out of the medals. Even today, as the crowd gathered here for the skating exhibition, the high, or was it low, drama of it all was still on their minds. Everybody was talking about what happened to Tanya last night. what was everybody saying? <laughs> she needed some new shoelaces. She definitely needs some new shoelaces. <laughs> With the competition over, the tension and suspense lifted, the day after is usually a time to forget the rivalries of the night before, but it seems too much happened last night to forget. In terms of the drama about Tanya last night, what was your reaction to that? What drama? The business with the skate lace. The skate? My reaction? It happens every time, something, you know? I don't know. Can I say? Thanks. Jane Torval and Christopher Dean knew what to say. I think it's, it's sorry that um, almost a soap opera incident that you wouldn't even write about um, should almost take precedence over the Olympics and the sporting achievements. You know, that there's so many athletes that have been working so hard, um, so many other stories of triumph. In fact, the skaters' reactions were a lot like the crowd's. Something that can happen at any time, and, and uh, for, if for that to happen with Tanya, who's with being involved with the controversy and the whole bit, and, and that sort of thing happening, it was at, at first it was kind of like, what is this? What it is, is the end of the Olympic chapter in Tanya's sorry saga, but not the end of the story. 
history, and uh, we're enjoying the games. You, do you wish the whole Tanya thing would kind of go away now? Yes. Fade Absolutely. Away. Let it Absolutely. fade away. Let Nancy have her glory. <laughs> Still to come, short track speed skating, the least predictable of Olympic sports. We'll have three finals, the women's 1,000 and the men's 500 and 5,000 meter relay. But coming up next, more figure skating artistry. Pairs gold medalists Yekaterina Gordieva and Sergei Grinkov take the ice when we return. CBS's broadcast of the 17th Olympic Winter Games is sponsored by Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? And by John Hancock, official life insurance sponsor, 1994 U.S. Olympic team.